morning. Happy holidays, people! Happy bloody holidays! So we've just left our meetup. Yeah. There was just one us left and one other couple, and they're just going back to the van to go. So we made sure everybody was happy and gone. And I've got to say, I can't. Yeah, I don't want to keep banging on about it, but it was an amazing weekend. It really one, was. It one of the really best was. weekends of our lives. Yeah, yeah. And. I hope we've thanked you all individually, but if I haven't, thank, thank you, you so Thank much. you, thank you, thank you, people. Yeah, thank you for coming, thank you for supporting the charity, um, which I'm going to go into, yeah, I'm going to do that one later, and well, when when we've sorted the, the checkout, and then we'll do, do a vlog on that. Yeah, so now we've just left Glebe Farm, and we're off to? Uh, near Mulvern, we're going there for one night, and then... We've got a quick, well, you want to go and see the sea, don't you? Yes, yeah, so I want to go to the seaside with my bucket and spade and play on the beach. Yeah, so we're going to be looking for somewhere. I think we're going to try North Wales, aren't we? Yeah, we might go to Barmouth, we might go to Anglesey. Yeah, I just need to have a look. Which because I've still got a week off, people. You can't whack it. Yeah. And then we're going to end our week at the Malvern Show. Yeah. So if any of you are out there that want to come along and uh, say hello, yeah, we'll be there. Just yeah. look for the flag. Look for the flag. I'm yeah. not putting the flag up. Yeah. Oh, okay. Everybody does, so we'll put the flag up. I love your new flag. Yeah. So thank you for, to Georgina and I can't remember her husband's name. Georgina, Georgina and the lovely husband. husband. Good yeah. thinking. Thank you very much. Yeah. So, so uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll see you in a bit. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Unbelievable. Bloody traffic on these bloody motorways. Yeah, we uh, wish the ex estimated time of arrival was 12 pm, wasn't it? Yeah, that's four up. days ago. <laughs> <laughs> uh, another breakdown on the M6, uh, so we're an hour and 15 minutes behind schedule. And I've still got an headache. Yeah, that's and I'm hungry. Yeah, still. Your feet are killing me. I'll need a toilet for a week. Well, there's one in the back, so when you pull off, just go. <laughs> um, yeah, don't think we're mad as a box of frogs. Just been on the phone to Salop for a change, but they dread the call. They're going to start barring my calls. We found out over the weekend that we're not drawing any power in from the solar panel. Thanks to Mr. Bob Earnshaw, he checked it out because we thought we're doing something wrong. You know, it's, we don't know what we're doing. Well, so, I know what I'm doing. So Bob had a look and no, we're not drawing any power in, so being as we're off grid. So just waiting for a call back off Salop yeah, to so see when we can book it in. Yeah, and apparently it's uh, a common fault in the 599, the solar control panel is knackered. Yeah. Did, did Bob say he had to have his replaced? Yes, I think so, yes. And Mr Cowley? Mr Cowley replaced his own because he was sick of swift crap. So yeah, we're still got, <laughs> we're on the motorway and we're moving, aren't we? Yes. It's a very, you're very hungry. Not you. You look very, very attractive to them. Not really, not. I need to wash my hair. You didn't tell me to shut up. Shut up, Robert. Unbelievable folks in his Unbelievable. Off to the Cotswolds tomorrow? Yes, just booked up. Can't remember the name of the site. Just for a couple of nights before we head back up to Mulvey. Yes, to the Mulvey show. We're going to get up there and get out. No, um, we're not. What? We are. Bloody hell. Aren't they? We haven't had a drink since yesterday. You, know, you didn't have many last night, did you? Two? No, two drinks. It's all I had all day yesterday. We had a lovely Sunday uh, lunch with. Oh, that was lovely, wasn't it? A few subscribers. Stephen Price and his lovely wife. Stephen Price and his lovely wife. Lisa that Middleton. Rhymes. Lisa Middleton and you forgot his name. Yeah. Lisa Middleton and and Sue and Chris Madden. What's Lisa's husband called? I don't no, know. they're not husband. They've only been engaged twenty years. Who is? Lisa. Is she? People, we are cracking on in a bit. So, we are about two minutes away, but it looks a bit dodgy, so we're not sure. We've had to go all the way around. It's a bit dodgy, eh? Well, it did when I looked from the other way. We had to drive up to the main road and then turn around the island because we couldn't get in this way. Arriving at destination on left. There you go. So, where is it? Here on the left? Absolutely. No idea. What's the site called? Newlands something. Newlands something. 
gentleman and two ladies shouting, no, 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 don't go down there. Unbelievable. Newland Meadows Caravan and Camping Site is part of the MCC, the Motor Caravanners Club. Here, so uh, we're hoping there's electric, but I've got a feeling we're not going to get any. Say so that was the office here. Yeah, yeah and I've got so do you want to get your little legs in there? I've got slippers on. Do you want to help out? So, we've just so little legs just cocked it up again. We've no. gone to the wrong place. No, it's unbelievable, people. It is unbelievable. No, we there's two parts to it. He said, Are you with us or are you with the club? He said, We're with the club. He said, We'll just carry on down here. Then. I think we just carry on down this little lane. Down the track, he said. Down yeah, the track. Down the track. There's a few here. I thought it was going to be empty. Why would you think that's my little fruit cake, my little spring chicken? I don't know. I really, I really don't know. It took a bloody while to get here, I know that. No, it's only because of the blooming traffic on the M6. I don't think there's any showers here or anything, is there? No. So we're going to smell for another few days? No, we're not. We're going to have a shower in our, in our little shower. Wi-Fi zone. We've just arrived and look who's here. Unbelievable. They must have actually found out where we were going and they've got here before us. Unbelievable. Happy holidays. Good morning, everybody. I'm just doing a bit of maintenance on the bus. Shouldn't take too long. <laughs> so, what's up with it now? Uh, well, it's it's come up on the uh, on the dash. It's uh, oil uh, oil check or something. Okay. So it's probably no oil. Yet. I did. A, I'm sure I said to you before we left to go on our meet. Up, can you check it all the level? Did you? I can't remember that. Unbelievable. Get on with it. Yeah. Yeah. Dan and Mazzy are parked there. I don't know if to knock the window and shout happy holidays because it's very early. <laughs> Good morning. Uh, Hope everybody is well. Good happy. Morning. Uh, bright. What day is it? Tuesday. Tuesday. Yes. So we came here as you saw in, earlier, um, and I've got a really sore throat, folks. Yeah. Still hasn't stopped talking, have you? I've been up since two o'clock. Something so seriously wrong with you, isn't there? You're all sat there. Pretty today, my little angel. Shut up, Robert. That, that camera's awfully close. Can't you zoom out? What do you mean? It's close. Very, very close. Uh, yes, we came here <laughs> for an <laughs> overnight stop. Yes. Uh, and yeah, we're off again today. Where are we going? Oxford. Uh, Oxford. Yes. We were going to try and go to the seaside, but... Everywhere is fully booked because it's the main week. So. Yeah, six weeks holiday, isn't it? We've got children, so... Yeah. Well, yeah. let's crack on. So, come on, start filming then. Do <sighs> actually do something. Oh, there's one coming out. Yeah, so uh, we are at Newland Meadows Caravan and Camping Site in Newland Village. Is that right? Newland Village? I think so. Yeah, Newland yeah, Village. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, there's a couple of sites to it. Uh, there's storage, there's um, the gentleman's site here. And then in the far corner, it's a pre show rally, and we are with the Motor Caravanners Club. Yes. yes, and it's cost £11 for the night. Yeah, we haven't got electric. No electric? No electric. But we don't need on for no. one night, do you? You don't need electric for one night. Well, we don't. We've, we've done well. Yeah, we really are. Uh, why are you walking about with a sticker? Because there's a gentleman on here, one of our subscribers, and we said last night we'd go over and give him a sticker. Oh, yeah, And I then we, we went to bed early-ish. Yeah, because we had a slog. We did. <laughs> Shut up. Yes, and there are the showers. The shower shed. I haven't been in, I'm not going in. Because I'll, I'll, I'm quite used to smelling. <laughs> it's 
the joys of camping, isn't the it? The joys so? of camping, yeah. Yes. Morning. Morning, happy campers. Morning. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, toilet, shower block, cleaning area. Hang on, hang on. What, what did he just say? Happy campers. Happy campers. It's happy bloody holiday. I know. I don't think. Never mind, eh? I said I said too much happy. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, we are so tired, aren't we? Yes. Uh, yeah. What's those toilets? Two showers. Two showers. Toilets. Yeah, what we've done. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Toilets. I don't actually think it's for our rally. I think it's more for this site. But they, they have said that they've been using these facilities on their rally, so. Yeah, so we don't know, to be honest. So this is the one part, isn't it? My yeah. little spring the, chicken, yes, my little grasshopper. This, <laughs> shut up, Robert. These are like, this is the first part of the site. And it, it is really nice. Some are electric, some aren't. It's handy, I'd say. Yeah. Very handy Not to... Like, uh, yeah, like I said, most people are here, I think are here for the pre, as a pre-show site, so they can get off to the... Cause it's yes, only about, so I don't keep going on then. It's about seven minutes away from Malvern, where the sh Malvern show is. Yeah, yeah, it's just literally just down the road, that's yeah. why everybody comes here when yeah. there's a show on you. Yeah. Happy. So yeah, um, so our rally is just further on down here. Yeah, it's down it, this track yeah, here. We, were, we got a bit confused, we didn't know where we got to go, but luckily there were some lovely people who told us. We do look pretty today. Oh, shut up, Robert. So, I thought this was just going to be um, like a pop-up field, but we've just noticed the sign, and it is a motor caravan is certified location. Yeah, and as you can see it in there. Yeah. So, yeah, and then this is the rally. The it's rally. Only, you the can't rally. beat a rally, people. And the <laughs> bloody... <laughs> just scared us a bloody death. Maybe, John. Yeah. And... Uh, the Wi-Fi zone. Wi-Fi zone. My, my signal is absolutely amazing. I've got the best signal I've ever had. Yes, and you're on. EA, and yeah. you've got absolutely zilch. Oh, you? two. No signal, Oops. people. No signal. I can't give this away, you know. Nobody wants it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and there, there's the site. Pleasant. Some, some are electric, as, uh, as are those up there, and some are just yeah. not electric. Yeah. Non-electric. Yeah. I know you can hear a bit of car noise, but to be honest, where, where we didn't we, last night, did we? Where we parked over there, you can't hear anything, can no. you? So you know, it's one of them. Isn't it? My little fruit cake has just noticed. She's only been here about a day. A day. No caravans, just no. just motorhomes. But I'm sure you can still join the motor. It's motor ca motor caravanners club. So is that just motorhomes? We need to find out. We'll look into it. Yeah. But, if but you, we probably won't. If you haven't joined the Motor Caravans Club, you must. Yes, because brilliant. Because it's absolutely an amazing club. Yes. Normally they'll put on things, but uh, the people who are running the entertainment have unfortunately been took ill. But yes, yeah, so absolutely fantastic clubs, club. Get over to it and join. Oh, yeah. I know. I mean, what, you can see the top of my head. I've got to stand on my tiptoe. I'm, I'm breaking my knees here. <laughs> Unbelievable. Yeah, and it's cheap as all people. Yes. Well, it's cheaper than... No, oh, it's cost us £11, non-electric. I think it's £13, £14. Just don't you dare. Crack on. Right, now my little pineapple has just found out something. Yes. You can join even if you are, have got a caravan. It was just... Hang I just, on a sec, isn't it called Caravan and Camp? No, no, it's the Motor Caravanners Club. I'm doing very well today. I'm your little, my little pickle. No, so, but you can join if you've got a caravan or a motorhome or a camper. Yeah, everybody's welcome. I just had to ask the question because, like we said, there's only motorhomes and campers here. Yes. Have you finished rambling now? Yeah, I'm a waffling. You're waffling a bit. Sorry. You're a little waffling, you. Eh? Hey. No. Oh. <laughs> Check the Land Rover Defender out, people. I like that. I really like that. Yes. Just like you. Actually, I've done a hundred thousand miles on one of those, haven't I? Yeah, yeah. We used to have a one ten, hadn't we? Yeah, love them. You could also hire a what's it called? Shepherd's hut. Shepherd's hut. Yeah. Apparently. Google glamping Malvern shepherd huts. It says on the bottom of the sign. What? Jump up now. Shut up. <laughs> Oh I don't know what Maz, Maz is doing uh, on top of somebody's motor on the start again. I don't know what Maz is doing on uh, somebody's motorhome, dancing away, happy as ever. Unbelievable. 
Yeah, we so we bumped into a gentleman last night who asked us for one of the stickers, and we said we'll give you one after, and we never got, we never saw him. So we've just had a drive round, and we can't find him. Yeah. So, so if you're watching this, I don't know your name, but you know what site we're on. And uh, if you're at the show, come come and find us. If you, you know if we see you, we'll yeah. give you one. Really do apologise. But if not, just send us your uh, address, postcode, and we will send you a sticker. Yes. Okay, sir. Sorry about that. Yeah. So we are actually leaving now, as you can see. And we're heading for well, Tesco's. We've got plenty of gin. We don't need need to get any of that, do we? No. So, Just left Dan and Muzzy. Yes. A couple, of, couple of hours of them. Yeah. Inside. Last night we've been with them. Yeah, yeah. So we're off again. Okay. See ya. Bye bye. Bye. Right, I just, we need to clarify something there. The gentleman We got it wrong again, no, folks. No, we didn't. We, we spoke to a gentleman who's running this, but he's only doing it temporary, and asked if motorhome uh, caravanners could come to, on to this club, the Motor Caravanners Club. So he's just found up the head office, and they've said it is for motorhomers and campers only, but if you join as a motorhomer and then have to downsize for weightage, age, whatever, or for and whatever, buy, reason, whatever reason, and hell. you buy a caravan, then you are more than welcome to stay as a member. But caravanners, it is just for motor caravanners. Okay, just thought I'd clarify that. Okay. Yes, Bye. and oh, give me a back. Give us a kiss. Oh, shut up, <laughs> Unbelievable. Right, I've just pulled over and bought my little fruit cake, my little walnut whip. Walnut whip. Uh, lunch. Does that kind of blue? Yeah, well, I haven't eaten mine yet, but... I do spoil you, don't I? They are the best wraps ever, ever. I was going to make out I took you for a meal. Oh, well, yeah, we had a meal deal. I think Jenny's rubbing off on us, isn't she? <laughs> <laughs> you look at me. No, shut up, Robert. They get, we are heading to... Bur no idea, absolutely no idea. I don't know where I'm going. Burford. I never know where I'm going. Burford. I don't know where I'm going when I get there. Burford. Burford, 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 Burford. Burford. Caravan and camping club site for two nights. And I'm looking forward to the rest, people. Because I want a proper shower. All as we've done is have a quick, quick, pathetic shower in here. Yeah, there's not much room. There's two of you in it. <laughs> Shut up. So we're going for a Don't drink all that. Oh, he had one sip. Unbelievable. Um, yeah, long hot shower. Together. No. Definitely not. We'll crack on the folks. We'll crack on. Yeah, and we'll see you when you get there. We'll see you when you get there, when we get there. I wish you was all coming, to be honest. We could have a blast. We could have a party. We could get hammered. I think we've just done that. I can't whack it. Bloody throat's killing me. Do they moan these men? Unbelievable. Well, I've just told him to go and put something on the pitch while we go and fill it with water. I mean, who puts a chair out? <laughs> Unbelievable. Love it. There you go, everybody. I've put it up for the second time, and it took me 20 minutes. Admittedly, I haven't put the ground sheet in. There's no really no need when there's, uh, you know, sunstone. Is it? You know what I'm trying to say. So, yeah, happy with that. Went up easily. Yeah, I actually went out. I was putting stuff away in here and I came out to help you and it was nearly... Done. Up. So are you proud of me? I am. Does it deserve a snob? I don't know why it took us so long last time. Does it deserve a snob? No. Unbelievable. Oh. Happy holidays, everybody. Happy holidays. We're all set up. You can't whack it. And my voice is still going. Yeah, well, if you shut up, then I'd have peace and quiet and your voice would recover. Don't touch, foot. Me, don't touch my feet. I hate my feet being touched. I think you hate being touched. Oh, shut up, Tart. Tart? Tart. You Tart. We're shattered. I've just we? had the best shower out. Yeah. You wouldn't come in with me, though. No. I'm going to wait till, until we've done this, and then I'm going to have a, have a shower, and wash my hair, and put my jammers on. Why are you whispering? I'm not whispering. Put the tea on. First time this week. Well, yeah, it is really. <laughs> I did offer last night, and you said no. Yeah, so tomorrow people will uh, take your take your look around the site. Yeah. See what's about, what's going on. You, what are you messing with? 
I've um, got a few shout outs here. Uh, Ramona James has got in touch and she said, can you wish my partner a very happy birthday for the 16th of August, which was yesterday. What's his name? She didn't give me his name. Unbelievable. Yep, so Ramona James's partner. Happy yep. birthday for the 16th. Have a blast. Hope you had a blast. It's oh, what was the date? 17th today this is going on you lose track of time you know you're not at uh, you're not at work are you is this going on tomorrow i don't know i don't know if we can uh we're at burford burford as we said and the internet signal is horrendous yeah so crap hopefully it'll go on tomorrow which is wednesday the 18th yeah and it's cost us 60 no it hasn't 57 pounds something oh where's we change it in there in the oh, that's a good girl the uh because we're still paying five percent of that until September. <laughs> Bloody expensive. Yeah, and a few more things I'd like to I say. I mean, I paid £11, 11 pound last night. I oh, know, but we didn't have any electric. £11? Pound? And there's no showers. I could run a week there. There's a shower in here, and um, we don't need electric. We've used a shower in here, but I, I just want a proper shower. Wash my hair, use the hairdryer. Um, you use the hairdryer? In the power bank? Yeah. Um. David Stroud, he sent us a lovely message. Uh, both of you are down to earth, funny, and tell it like it is. You've all, you've got us all through the crappy dark days of COVID. Um, and he said, could we wish his wife Angela happy first grandchild grandma to baby William, David Beverly, da baby William David Beverly. Baby William. Five weeks early, and he's put hope to see you on the boat on the road soon. What do you mean he's five weeks early? The baby that came five weeks early, I presume. What was they getting from? <laughs> congratulations, so, yeah, anyway. Yeah, congratulations to you. Um, Steve Booser has said, uh, you know, uh, I can't, don't, I'm too tired. Stop it. Um, can we give a Shout out to his wonderful wife, Rita. Rita! Uh, who is going in for a hip replacement on Thursday the 18th. Yeah, good luck with that, Rita. Uh, wish you all the best. And he said he loves her and hope the operation takes away all the pain she's been going through lately. So yeah. Yes, we hope so too for you, Rita. Yep, and Peter Lewis. Peter Lewis, how you doing, mate? I ain't seen you for ages. Shut up, Robert. He's, uh, could we wish his gorgeous wife, Sharon Lewis, a very happy birthday for the 17th of August. Happy birthday, Sharon, um, for the 18th of August. Tell her or the 17th. 17th. 17th of August. I do apologise. I hope you have a blast. I hope you have a great time. I hope you get spoiled. And that's today. But don't is... forget, it's only last one day, and then you'll be back washing up. Yeah, and he said, <laughs> she's my world, my rock, and my best friend. The year th last three years have been crap. Sharon was diagnosed with breast cancer, has now undergone several operations. Oh, right. We're now on the other side, and thankfully just starting to get our life back. Brilliant. And she'd love a mention. Brilliant news. What's her name? Sharon Lewis. Sharon Lewis. Brilliant. Fantastic. Yeah. And finally, I want to say a massive, we want to say a massive thank you to John Moon. John Moon. He, uh, he Tell me what he did quick. He, did, he couldn't come to our meetup. Right. I don't know if he just didn't get in. Um, but he's watched the vlogs and he has just gone on to Race Against Dementia and oh, do yes. donated £100. That's very, very, very kind of you. So, yeah, absolutely. Thank you very much. Amazing. So, thank you so much. Yeah. Happy uh, about that, mate. Yeah. I just want to say a big thank you to David Cowley as well. Yeah, and apparently on the Malvin show tomorrow, uh, there's other people going to give us some money towards uh, dementia, so uh, we'll add it all up th uh, yeah. when we're back home, and then we'll, we'll tell you what one. Yeah. But you've all been so generous, so kind. Thank yeah. you. And just want to say... that. I Thank you to David Cowley for all the information he's given. Mr. David Cowley, you're a bloody genius. Yeah, and if anybody else has got a van like ours... Uh, the Get five, rid of it. <laughs> the 599, I don't know if it happens in any others, but you've got two cupboards that I've complained about since the day we got it. Two oh, cupboard yes. doors, and you open them, and it just goes straight into the garage. And we thought, like, what's the pointless, point? Pointless, pointless, absolutely yeah. pointless crap. And ages ago, David got in touch with us and said... If you put your heating on, you know, in the winter, and open those doors, it lets hot air through. And we thought, well, the garage is going to be cold, so he's talking crap. Mm. But he's not. 
No. There's actually a radiator. We... It runs right the way the back across the back of the garage. There's yeah. a radiator. So yeah. you open the doors. You open the cupboard doors and lets all the heat in. But it's pretty good to be honest. So I have a radiator in the garage, so it keeps the damp out. And it dries things, doesn't it? Doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. But the main actually, thing. Actually, I think I told David that. No, you really didn't. But the main thing was with that, you open the doors and the the heat in the bedroom last night. Because we did put the heating on, didn't we? Because it was a bit chilly. Yeah, what's his wife's name? Oh, you've put me on a position now. Can't remember. I do apologise. Anyway, the other night... Mrs. Cowley. <laughs> anyway, anyway, the other night we had uh, a couple of drinks with them and they're such lovely people. Yes. So, can't wait to do it again someday. someday. Yep. So, tomorrow we're going to have a walk around here and we might even go over to the wildlife park over the road. How much is it? With a discount, it's £14.50 for if you buy it from the reception here. For both of us? No, each. Well, I ain't going. Oh, shut up. Well, I'll send the drone over, have a look. I'll, <laughs> I'll go over on my own, then. Don't be silly. You can't do without me. There's zebras and things. I've seen zebras. It might be a nice day out. Ooh, I don't want to see a zebra. Well, we'll see. But David Attenborough, he's cheaper. Unbelievable. <laughs> so, yeah, that's about it for today, isn't it? Give us a kiss. Oh, sure. And Robert, I need it. I need to go over there, and I want to wash my hair. So come on, wrap it up. I'll leave you on your own. Right, I'm going. Unbelievable. Yeah. So uh, thanks for watching our vlogs, people. If you come across this channel, please subscribe. Give us a thumbs up if you if you want to. You haven't done that for ages. That's usually my job. No, it's really not. I do everything on this channel. You and just sit there looking pretty. Thank you to all our new subscribers because we have picked up quite a few recently. Yes, and if anybody is at uh, Malvern, yeah, please come over and say yes. hello. If you see us, get in there, we'll get hammered. And we've got plenty of stickers. No, that costs money. Shut up. <laughs> okay. What? What? Come on, I need, I need to go for you. You've had your shower, I want to go and get mine. Tired, 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 tired. Yeah, stay safe, fellow car runners, motor owners, tenters, drifters, subscribers, old and new. We still love you. We do. See you soon, people. Have a cracking week. Can I just have one little peck? No. Just a little. No. Bye. I'm oh, hang on. Hang on. Don't go. How about the bloke who went for his date? Oh, gosh. What's we'll his do, name? We'll do it tomorrow. Jammy Lord. I'll find it. Jammy bugger. <laughs> See you later.